whenever I first started playing Sea of Thieves, uh, getting to Pirate Legend was a long way off. It took me and my friend Evan here about a year to, or about six months to a year to reach this goal. Nowadays, there are so many more ways to make gold, to get a reputation, and in all honesty, life in this game is so much easier now. So I wanted to document how long it actually takes an average player to get to Pirate Legend in 2019 to 2020, depending on when you're seeing this video. So I went ahead and made myself a new account, uh, and I created the new pirate. Uh, when I first, whenever I first started this journey, it was the 14th of December, the day before, the day of the Villainous Gold Stash Voyage. And this voyage gave you right, ready? twelve villainous right, gold. Uh, collect it, collect your shift first. And there was also double rep in order of souls. So it's not like it, this video won't be quite as accurate because there's double reputation involved. But that is still what happened, and that's I can't do anything about that. But yeah. in my first day, I sold 24 Villainous Golds because I used my Voyage and Evan used his. We actually sold 26 because we found two, you know, Guardians on Islands. So with 26 Villainous Golds, my level skyrocketed from 0 in Order of Souls all the way up to 25 in one mission. And these mi this mission only took me about two hours to complete with these two missions took about two hours to complete with intermediate you know with intermediate ship fighting and other stuff that I didn't record but I also reached a, like level 14 in gold hoarders and around level 10 to 13 in merchant alliance on day one on day two and three, I didn't play as much as I wanted to to try to help level up because I didn't have the time. I only had to play for about an hour each of these two days. But at the end of this three day period, I was level 20 in Gold Hoarders, level 35 in Order of Souls, and level 21 in Merchant Alliance. And for three days, I was just doing skull forts over and over and over. I would just grind them on servers. And my recommendation to anybody starting out that this is also what you should do. You should not even bother doing any other missions. Just do skull forts. Day four was double reputation in every single trading company. So I got myself up to Level 34 in Gold Hoarders, level 41 in Order of Souls, and level 30 in Merchant Alliance in a span of four days. This is almost unheard of. Skull Forts are the way to go. My phone. And the two days following that, I was able to get myself up to level 50 in Gold Hoarders, level 48 in Mer in, not Merchant Alliance. 48 in Order of Souls, and 45 in Merchant Alliance. The day after that, I was able to get myself up to level 50 in Merchant Alliance, and the way, not Merchant Alliance, Order of Souls, and the way I was doing this was I would get myself to level 49 in the trading company, and then I would just buy the last level from Duke. Or not Duke, Jim. And then on 11.30 on Tuesday, I finished off my Merchant Alliance and got myself to Pirate Legend. So, all in all, this journey only took me nine days. 
It is very apparent that is it, that it is ten times easier to get Pirate Legend uh, nowadays in the end of 2019 and the beginning of 2020. I'm sure it'll get even easier as time progresses, but also you have to factor in that I did a lot of this on double rep. So nine days with the Festival of Giving activated, I was able to get Pirate Legend in nine days, which... Has to, I, I'm sure it's not a record, but it's it's still a very good time. I just want to close this video off by saying thank you for all of the support on my channel recently. And I'm really hoping that somebody from Sea of Thieves sees this. But I'm sure they won't. But either way, thank you all for watching. And comment down below if uh, any future content uh, recommendations you have for me. Or if you just want to give some feedback or some uh, some some criticism or whatever. Thank you all, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.